In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this portrait of adequate ASMR. This video is meant for relaxation, but also is informative. Welcome to my channel, Isabel Imagination Art. Make sure to wear headphones or earbuds and filter your blue light. The first thing that I always do is create a base coat and I do that with burnt umber because this is a pretty neutral color to shine through when I put different colors on my canvas and that's not only the reason why I put a base coat it's also for this stage, the composition sketch stage. And that's because it's really easy to sketch with water and kitchen paper and a little bit of burnt umber um, to see how large the face is going to be, where it's going to be located on the canvas itself. So it's really a commitment free way of sketching and erasing certain parts and just finding yeah, the right composition before you put color on your canvas. Now later on in the sketching stage, I really wanted to make her face bigger because I wanted to be um, I wanted her face to be the, the focus point of this painting. Now there's actually a funny story to this commissioned art piece, and that is that it was a surprise for adequate ASMR because a few weeks ago, her anonymous friend sent me an email and asked me to paint adequate ASMR's portrait as a gift to her and so I painted her and then after the painting was done I surprised her with um, an email and of course a picture of her painting and she loved it so that's great because it was a little bit of a, a gamble so to say. Now as you can see we're already in the color stage and this is the rough area color placement. No details, just zooming out and seeing where we want to place color. And this is really important in trying to find logic in the different colors that I use. I want it to be a rainbow. Oh, I want it to create a rainbow art piece with so many different colors and especially lilac because adequate ASMR loves lilac and you can do that but there needs to be some truth behind all of those different colors and I figured out that as long as you use cooler toned colors in the shadows and warmer toned colors in the areas that the light hits the face directly, then there is truth. So you can apply this technique with all the colors of the rainbow as long as you stick to that rule, which is the cooler toned and the warmer toned uh, colors. I've not yet tried to flip, to flip it around. I think that's possible as well. So to put the cooler toned colors um, where the light hits it and the warmer tone colors and the shadows as long as you keep those two separate I believe that there can be some, some truth to the art piece because you want people to believe what they see even though the colors don't make any sense it's the same as a black and white painting or photograph you imagine what it must have been like 
with the colors that your eyes can see. I'd like you to visit my Instagram and visit my web shop. I'm just going to do this little socials talk. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and my art pieces. We have arrived in the detail stage which for me took about five to ten hours to create the, the right amount of details because I, I love to have a really playful painting but still I want there to be some truth and some technique behind it. Now, a smiling person, in my opinion, is pretty difficult. That's because all of the proportions in the face change as soon as somebody smiles because the jawline opens up, the eyes have a different position, and they, they tend to be more narrow, so it looks really different. And then, painting teeth can be challenging as well. It can look really fake really easily. And with this technique, I created details with the different colors. So I, for instance, painted green on her teeth. And that felt so unnatural, but um, I needed to do that in order to create um, a good image. Now, the next stage is... I think my favorite part, perfecting the painting. And after all that technical stuff of um, locating all of the different proportions and making sure that the details are correct and that the colors are correct in the face, this is the part where you can really have fun with a palette knife, in my case, and lots of color. I wanted to create a really decorative art piece, and so I created the same colors for her hair as I did with her face. And because I'm using two different techniques with brush strokes on her face and palette knife work on her hair, I felt like there needs to be something to tie it all in together and make it one cohesive art piece. And in this case, it is color and the color palette that I use. And I feel like this is enough to really make it one cohesive, harmonious art piece. And I'm really happy with the way that it's starting to look. I also really enjoy working with a palette knife. That's because you don't have the same amount of control as you do with a paintbrush. And that's actually really fun because it's a surprise every time you place the palette knife onto the canvas. You don't know exactly what it's going to produce. The textures, I think, are just lovely with palette knife art. It's, it's more of a rough feel, kind of edgy and modern. And you can blend colors really easily with it, but you can also add texture and volume. Now it's time for the signature, and I'm really happy with my end result, and I'm glad to put my name on this art piece. I think it's one of my best art pieces yet just because it's so colorful and fun and playful. 
Now let's take a look at the end result, shall we? Here it is. So, if you enjoy my art and you'd like me to paint a special art piece for you, then email me at info at isabellimagination.com You can also visit my web shop, isabellimagination.com to look around and see available art pieces but also just to check out what I have been creating over the years and let's just take a look at this moment really at a close-up you know, I, I love to do this in art galleries as well to really get as close as I can with my face wander around let my eyes just stroll over the canvas and you know, get lost in all of the different colors and patterns and all of the details so I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video if you have, don't forget to subscribe and I will let you fall asleep with the beautiful sound of paintbrush soap. It's just one of those sounds that you can't get enough of, that prickly foamy sound. I wish you a very, very good night's sleep. Sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Slap liquor. Weltrusten.